guys, how are you today? Hopefully fresh and well and beautiful. Another fine and fantastic day again today. Welcome to... Welcome to Wednesday. It's hump day, it's midweek. How are you guys doing? Hopefully feeling flipping awesome. You grab the wheat by the horns and yeah. I'm going, I'm going. We've decided today to do something a little bit, I say crafty DIY. It's not really crafty or DIY. It's just kind of like a little bit of a home bake. We're gonna make chaos in the kitchen. We're going to make chaos in the kitchen. We're making chilli jam. Because I like chilli jam. <laughs> Holly likes chilli jam. And we were thinking, because we made candles, we made those bottles oh, and stuff, we just want to like make loads of stuff for Christmas. And we thought, again, it'd be kind of a fun thing to bring you guys along. But that does mean that we need to purchase a few little things to make chilli jam, because we don't have the things you need. We don't have no So chilies. we're going to go buy the things what we need to make chilli jam with. OK, I'm not going to lie. That sounds like one of the craziest drinks Ever. Apple, red pepper, sweet potato. Apple, red pepper, and I sweet like potato. The sound of orange grape, big chocolate. Couldn't find a stool. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Trying to find sugar? Found it. Okay, so we basically we went to Tesco's and we bought everything ever again. I don't know why the main thing we needed to get was chilies, basically, to make chili jam. We could have been kind of lazy and just bought our own jars of garlic jam with chili, but typical type of us thing to do. We thought, you know what, let's not go the easy route. Let's actually try making our own. And I don't think Holly has a clue what she's doing. No. Apart from getting ginger. No. No. Not ginger. Garlic. Garlic. I haven't coffee yet. Maybe that's what the issue is. So this is the thing what really confused me when Holly said that we were going to be making this. <laughs> Do you care to explain? Well, I said we're going to be making chilli jam and then I said we need to buy peppers and tomatoes and the look on James's face was, um, well, priceless. Like, and when someone says jam, or chilli jam, or garlic jam, it's, at no point does like, tomatoes and peppers come not, into the ingredients. It's not like the jam you spread on your toast for breakfast in the morning. It's not like a strawberry jam. It's like a, what you'd have with like cold meat or... So it's more like a chutney. It, yeah, like a chutney, but slightly different. I was <laughs> very baffled, and I'm guessing most of you guys are probably very baffled as well. So we're like, using red peppers to... Just like bulk it out a bit. So it's not just literally like jam with bits of chilli in. So there's like a little bit of substance. Well, I'm making it up as I go along, but I have tried something like it and it tasted good. So we're going to see if we can magically make it happen. So this is the scary bit now because that looks like a tomato or a pepper and it's neither. It's a chilli. That is this actually... This favourite thing in the whole wide world. That is my nightmare. Nightmare right there. So we bought like a whole packet of chilies. I couldn't lie and said they're mini peppers and made you cut them. They are definitely not mini peppers because they definitely say red chilies on them, Holly. <laughs> so you put one of them in, that's yeah. just one chilli. Well, quite a big chilli. But how much are we making? Are we making like one jar, two jars, five jars, 1,500 jars, 1,000 jars, We've million jars? Five. We've got five jars, so we could make five jars. One chilli for five jars. So again, because we don't really know what we're doing and Holly couldn't decide whether we needed white <laughs> wine vinegar or red wine vinegar, we're going for both. Yeah, pretty much. We're just half in it, we're putting both in. So we've got 250 ml of white wine vinegar. And now the red goes in all the way up to 500 ml, which is half a liter. How much do we have to get paid to drink that now? The whole thing. A gulp. Not that, fiver. You'd do it for a fiver. I like vinegar. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> no, Go on. You wouldn't give me a fiver. I will. It will contaminate everyone's chili jam. I'll pour into another glass. <laughs> no. I want to see it. No, maybe, maybe 20 questions. <laughs> I added another chili. Excuse me? I added a little chili. <laughs> <laughs> so the one chili is now turned into two chilies. So this is like the ridiculously scary bit and where you actually start to realise how much sugar goes into certain foods. With and a jam. <laughs> but yeah, this jam takes literally this whole bag of sugar, a whole, are you sure a whole kilo bag of sugar? Recipe says, well, I'm not really following a recipe, but all the recipes say a kilo bag of sugar. That has so a we might leave lot with some sugar. left over, so maybe not like the whole thing, but you'll need most of that bag, yeah. So just pour it into the vinegar? Pour it in. Don't have to worry about sieving it or anything, just... No. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. 
that's about half. <laughs> Are you sure about this, Holly? Yeah, it's, I'm... Do you know, sugar's the main ingredient in jam. Flippin' heck. Is this my coffee? That's so much sugar. So this is the moment of truth now. Right. This is all of our, like, all of our chopped up tomatoes and peppers and Cheese. garlic and chilies is going into the vinegar and sugar which is kind of dissolved into each other now we'll look for 10 minutes and then take it off the heat and hopefully it should be done so whilst that's all been boiling away i've been sat over there doing my editing of yesterday's video and holly's literally just been, I've been watching watching this just bubbling away just i'm not really sure they said boil for 10 minutes I think it's been about 10 minutes. I think it's been well over 10 minutes. And over the last like month or so, we've been collecting jars. Yeah. And Holly, please explain. <laughs> why on earth are they in the microwave with water? Them. So you put water in them and then boil them and it sterilizes them. Yeah, it's pretty good. 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 Yeah, it's pretty it won't go well if I do this. <laughs> this is the moment of truth, Holly. Yeah, it's not set oh, yet. Can, it is thicky. It's, thicky. It's thicky. It's thickening, it's but thickening. it's not set yet. So we're just going to slop all this in there. You want like enough bits in it. Has that got bits? That's got a lot yeah, of bits. Yeah, that's got bits. That hasn't got all the bits. <laughs> yeah, don't smell it. It still smells vinegary, but it tastes oh, good. That like takes the hair out of your nostrils. It's because it's still warm. Maybe you should do it. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Pour it in. Pour it in. Moment of truth, Holly, moment of truth. Oh, it's very swappy. Can't get the angle. No. So all of that was enough to fill up four jars. We did have five, but don't worry about that one. Four is enough. Four is enough. And What's this all about now? Fill. So then it's like sealed. It's like, I don't... But you still use a lid? Yeah, then you put it on top. Just okay. So I don't know, just... Another one of Holly's random... Just mysterious like things, just what she does? Keep it, um, what's the word, like sterilised. Like, so you sterilise the bottle and you put that on, nothing's getting in there. Okay. So then it, can, it will last a long time because there's nothing in it. So we just packed up everything like super duper quickly just then because I had the genius idea of going back to the cinema and watching row one and I was like, Blip Holly, we've literally what a douchebag just pull out in front of me uh, i was like quick quick holly we literally gotta leave right now so i'm rushing back to mine now so i can upload yesterday's video and grab our 3d glasses and get to the cinema so you guys might be wondering why do i have to come back here to upload my video basically if you don't know holly's you where holly lives <laughs> where, where holly lives her internet is like super duper slow and it would take about three hours to upload a video here i've literally just pressed upload 14 minutes to upload my video, which is flipping awesome, which means now I can just literally upload the thumbnail, click, and then write the title, tags and all that stuff, schedule it, and then we can go. Sorry, Christmas decorations, you are coming with us. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't get a car park space. We're like the furthest point away from the cinema and there is nowhere to park. And he's got his parking space. Damn! Well, we managed to find a car park space, which is good. We only drove around for like a couple of minutes. And at the same time, we've been joined by Chino. Picked up a hitchhiker. Picked up a hitchhiker on the way. <laughs> we were saying that it, pretty much exactly a year ago, us three went to the cinema for me and Holly to watch uh, The Force Awakens for the second time and Chino watched it for the first time. It's the same time, same but for Star the new Wars Star Wars film. Then. It's almost like you use us to like test the waters. I'm not allowed to watch them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've it's got guardians. we've got to be his guardians. We've got to basically make sure it's okay for him to sit. I'm joking. I don't see any nudity. <laughs> <laughs> <wearing. Too> violent. <laughs> and I'm hoping as well that it's not going to be sold out or anything because it's that busy. I'm hoping it's just because it's near Christmas and loads of people just going elsewhere. Because I need to see this film for the second time. <laughs> Vader. <laughs> I look like Darth Vader in the shadow. <laughs> this is my face after the second time 
of watching Rogue One. Seriously, second time round was was probably even better. You reckon? I think I enjoyed it more second time round than I did first time round. Mm. I think because you kind of know what yeah, you're you expecting stuff. Different stuff. I don't know. That was flipping awesome, Holly. What, what, like, come on, second time round, Holly. Loved it. You loved it just as much, more or yeah, less. Yeah, I'd say just as much. I can see that we're just going to keep watching it all the time when we get it on. I, I have to say, like the second, the second half of that film is like almost Intense. perfect. It's like it's such, such a good film. Mm -hmm. Some of the mm -hmm. shots are epic. I just think the whole thing was good. Chino, you're like first time viewer. Yeah, good. Not like a solid Star Wars fan. What does someone yeah, think? It's good of action. Is it good. what you expected? Uh, yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. It's Star Wars, isn't it? <laughs> it's really cool. Like to be the creative deck director in that. Yeah. It's just no. like some of the visuals on it are crazy. Yeah. To work on like so films like that, like it's just visually incredible and I think that's the thing like even if you're not into like Star it's Wars nice and stuff look at. it's yeah. a visually beautiful looking film and I love the like scale as well yeah it's like, it's like mind blowing obviously it's not real but, but when still, you see like yeah. the size of yeah. the ship and stuff it's just mm -hmm. really cool watching it's it. just like really it's just a like a massive film and so I know a few people when we watched it last week a few people were saying like they haven't watched Star Wars and they're thinking about it because of like what we said I honestly reckon you should go mm -hmm. And watch Star Wars on the way these all the way home. I can see the world in 3D. <laughs> so, dudes, Riley is very, very impressed because he has a new toy. Riley has a big boy toy. He's moved on from his milk cartons, which he loved thoroughly. He's now got an actual dog toy, and he's so happy with it. He's literally just, he just ran and picked it up and he's just parading it around. He's so happy with his little toy. Aren't you? You're <laughs> so happy with it, Pooch. I can imagine that he's still going to play with his milk cartons, yeah. but he's kind of decided to be a little bit more grown up now and have an actual dog toy. Wow. <laughs> oh, Pooch. And dudes, this is one of the finished little chili garlic jams what we made earlier. Put a little bit of c cotton cloth on it with a little bit of elastic band to make it look very vintage. I'm not going to try it. No. Not going to It's a present. That's the only reason I'm not going to try it. Not because it's spicy and I don't think I'm going to like it. It's a present, so I'm not going to try it. But they look flipping lovely. <laughs> you could have tried some. <laughs> Even though I literally said I'm not trying it because it's a present. But you could have tried it instead of just having a plain tomato sandwich. Oh, hello! You showed me your toy again, mate. You heard the camera come out, didn't you? And you Aww. thought, I'm going to go show them. <laughs> this little waggy toe. Ding, 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 ding. So seriously, dudes, what an awesome flipping day we have had today. I think the chili jam turned into a win. Star Wars round two was definitely a win. And Poochie is still literally, look, look at him. He's just parading this toy. Literally just parading his toy around, which is also a flipping win. And if you guys have enjoyed today's video, please leave a big fat thumbs up on today's video. And until tomorrow, remember those three very important things, which are as always, stay happy, stay positive, stay awesome. And we will see all of you bright and early tomorrow morning. Goodbye. The rose smell with the fuchsia colored wax. So. Mm -hmm. Here we go, this is fuchsia, fuchsia color. See how much you want. Um, About there? Yeah. Yep. Yep. 